They were expecting warmer weather when they hit St. John's, but right now they're enjoying a break from life at sea. The crew of eight on board this sailboat has been sailing for months, leaving Spain at the end of May, following the path of former bass whalers. We start from here and all the way up. All the way up, hitting Greenland. And then from here, we went all the way down to Goose Bay. Not just following the footsteps of bass whalers, they're also environmentalists, researching, studying, and preparing to teach back home in Spain. So along the way, they've been studying marine life, whales, their patterns, and what's impacting them. Researching the water, because even in the middle of the ocean, the, the water has plastics. And of all the things they've observed, the amount of plastic they've discovered in the ocean is one of the scariest. And the very, very small pieces of plastic they are in, even in the middle of the ocean. So we want to, you know, to make that known that we have not to throw any plastic bag or nothing to the water because they take years, hundreds of years to, you know, disintegrate. So how did our harbor compare to the ports the crew have sailed into in terms of garbage? Could be better, but it's not, not so bad. I've been in even worse places. The Pacquia Bescia sets sail Saturday, leaving Newfoundland to begin a one-month journey home to Spain. Leila Baudouin, CBC News, St. John's.